Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about augmented reality theory and practice. Anybody who's ever sat through a physics class can tell you that theory is pretty boring. Practice is far more interesting. Um, augmented reality allows some of that practice to come into theory and theory into practice. Let me show you a quick demonstration of what I mean. Uh, let's go and take a look at a... Uh, I'm here at AR Sites. <coughs> I'm going to pull down a, um, a model uh, from their collection of models, which um, I don't know what this is. So let's take a look at this. I've never been there, so let's. Oh, it looks pretty boring, though. Let's take a look at it, though. Review the 3D model. I'm going to open it with our site. Okay. It's going to load. All files finish downloading. Tick tock, tick tock. Yes, I am sure my webcam is connected. Yes, there it is. And in a moment, it's going to give me, huh, it gives me my mug. And over here um, is the marker. Oh, and there is a um, 3D model. Now it looks pretty much like most Arab models, I have to say, just a big, well, <laughs> yeah, call it what you will. <clears throat> I've seen lots of those boring kinds of models. But anyway, what I want to talk to you about is augmented reality. See, there it is. It should go away in a second. Maybe it won't. There, now it's gone, now it's back. See how cool that is? Now what I want to talk to you about is how augmented reality can make a big difference in schools. Schools, I used to teach, and one of the biggest problems with my students, with everybody I've ever met, is that most times school is pretty boring because teachers, all they do is talk, and students don't really get to do much except listen to boring teachers. Augmented reality can help change that, especially in the usage of manipulatives. I'm not a big Montessori person, but anybody who's been to Montessori school will see a bunch of happy kids playing and learning. How wonderful would that be if it could be reproduced in, um, well, in high schools and colleges, which it does. Uh, of course, augmented reality comes from some very smart people doing very difficult things in computer sciences. We should take advantage of that by using it in the classrooms to show, for example, how molecules work, physics in action, engines and machine theory, prototypes of all kinds. If you can draw it, you should be able to create an augmented reality version of it. Uh, for example, uh, one of the things that um, we need right now, and our site does a fair job, I haven't really spent enough time um, looking at all of the stuff they have to offer. Uh, but I do know that we're going to need more tools for building new models, some way to tap into Google SketchUp, which has a, a 3D, Google SketchUp has a huge 3D warehouse, 3D warehouse. <clears throat> Their 3D warehouse is pretty cool. Um, we should also look into uh, the other 3D, free 3D tools. Um, the more free, the more likely it is to be embraced. Um, and something I've not seen yet, but a way to have multiple models in space. When I showed you that model of, it only had one, it could only represent one model in space. But if we were in a small engines class, or a nuclear physics class, or a chemistry class, or a uh, engineering class, we would definitely want, let's see if I can get this to come back, mine 42, it gets so wonked out when you move stuff, all right. Um, so we're going to, for example, we would want multiple objects so that 
students would be given a crankshaft, engine block, cylinders, fuel injection system, drive shaft, etc., all in, as different models, and then assemble those models in the augmented reality training environment. Uh, this, of course, augmented reality, we're only looking at the beginnings now. Uh, the future is huge. Most of, the, most of what we see in augmented reality are toys. The Department of Defense has some, uh, some interesting training tools for repairing uh, machines, but that's, and BMW does too, actually, I should remind. BMW is working on um, training apps for mechanics, which is um, further uh, further interesting because they're they're using a model with um, uh, sunglasses or like a sunglasses model where it's a heads up display in sunglasses. So augmented reality, wow. Um, there's theory, there's practice, there are the needs. And the needs are many because we definitely need a whole lot more smart people in the world. And our schools, unfortunately, are not producing them fast enough. So let's see what we can do with augmented reality. Maybe that will get more engineers and chemists out there than uh, faux jobs like economics professors, etc. We need fewer lawyers and econo economists and more engineers and chemists. Thank you very much and go and play with augmented reality. Let me know what you think. Ciao.